It is indeed a very good morning in the Spedu region, I believe. A bit warm, but nonetheless, I think it's a beautiful morning. Your Excellency, Honorable Ministers, distinguished guests, it is indeed an honor for me to welcome you all to today's groundbreaking ceremony of the Silive Pique Citrus Project. Director of Ceremonies, I wish to start by expressing my sincere gratitude to His Excellency the President, for gracing this important occasion. And most importantly to His Excellency for his role in luring this particular investor to this region. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here today to mark this important occasion under a totally different environment due to COVID-19 pandemic. This pandemic has fast-tracked <laughs> our resolve and progress in achieving self-sufficiency in food production. I am convinced that the agricultural sector has a huge potential to turn around the fortunes of the Spedu region and the country at large. Director of Ceremonies, kindly allow me to convey my appreciation to all stakeholders who have been working tirelessly to make this project a success. I wish to recognize the role of some of the key stakeholders, most notably Ministries of Land Management, Water Sanitation, Agricultural Development and Food Security, Mineral Resources, Green Technology and Energy Security in facilitating the establishment of this project. The commencement of this project is a testament to the hard work and dedication of all stakeholders and it is indeed a very commendable effort. My profound gratitude also goes to the investors for their commitment to the project despite the adverse effects occasioned by the pandemic and even some of the challenges and the, the speed at which we are facilitating. They have remained steadfast, resolute and confident to invest in our country. And I can assure you that you will be happy that you invested in the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, I will also wish to recognize Madinara Multi People's Cooperative Society for leaving the principles of the National Cooperative Transformation Strategy. In this regard, the cooperative had a vision to harness the economic value of their land by partnering with the investors. Allow me, Director of Ceremonies, to also encourage other cooperatives throughout the country to learn from Madinari Multi People's Cooperative Society. As cooperatives have the potential to contribute to the country's social and economic development. Director of Ceremonies, this project clearly demonstrates our determination towards achieving economic transformation and an inclusive growth as articulated in our national vision, Vision 2026. This project will also contribute meaningfully to the development of value chains within the agricultural sector. Additionally, the project will not only contribute to job creation and economic linkages, but will also support SMEs through procurement of inputs and mentoring. Ladies and gentlemen, as I draw towards conclusion, allow me to extend an invitation to our investors to find time to appreciate the beauty of the Spedu region and its vast opportunities. And I underline opportunities, business opportunities. We have big dams, beautiful flora and fauna in this region. And the distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I think for me it is also very fulfilling that Your Excellency, in a space of three weeks, I'm participating in the second groundbreaking ceremony and I'm talking about projects that are going to create a substantial number of jobs. Your Excellency, Honorable Ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, let me once again extend a warm welcome and special a warm and special welcome to you all. I thank you for your kind attention.